If not for me, my daughter would have long time ago moved away from the palace because there were many obstacles which she wouldn't have adapted because she was too young for that. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Just Point TV. And guys, if you are seeing this channel for the first time, you're highly welcome. Please click on the subscription button and turn your notification bell also. Once I post any video, you will be among the first to see it. And for my returning subscribers, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for always coming around. I really appreciate you guys. So guys, um, Queen Naomi's mother has finally uh, speak concerning her daughter's marriage to Oni and why her daughter has no choice than to leave. Meanwhile, as a mother, she said she did her best to see that the marriage work out because no mother would love to see her daughter being divorced. So guys, um, recently it was disclosed um, that um, Queen Naomi's mother really battled for her child in that palace. She really fought for a long-lasting marriage between her daughter and Kabiesi but her daughter insisted because she was already fed up and according to her guys um that for a long time that her daughter wanted to go away because there were so many challenges she was facing those things was not the things she expected when she moved in into the palace yes according to her that she knows that marrying into a such big family is not an easy task but her daughter came in and she began to face challenge that she never expected but i as her mother keep encouraging her keep strengthening her because truly my daughter really faced a lot of challenges that was what queen naomi's mother said that her daughter really faced a whole lot of challenges that no any woman will even want to see her daughter go into uh, into such challenges but according to Queen Naomi's mother, that all that she has seen all allegations that they laid on her, that she was the one that made her daughter marriage crash because she was staying with her daughter. That she wasn't even staying there, but most of the time she's there. Because um there was a need for her to go there. Yeah. That when the needs for her to go there arises, that she is always there for her daughter. And again, she said that she has a comfortable place where she stays with her kids in Akure, that they have a comfortable home even before Queen Naomi got married. That she didn't even know where all this story of um, Oni buying a house for Queen Naomi and all that, where the story is coming from. And according to her, that she was surprised again recently. Rumors started flying everywhere that um, Kabiesi once had um, she and her family that is staying in the palace to vacate, you know, to move away from the palace. And um, that is where Queen Naomi, her daughter said um, she is going to move away with them. That such things never happened. There was never any occasion that um, Oni asked them to move away from the palace. That was when, um, when they were still there, when her daughter was still there. There was never any occasion of uh, such. And moreover, she is not even staying with her daughter. Like it was even Kabi AC that asked her to come to stay with her daughter when she, her daughter, you know, bettered the son. That it was um, Oni that asked her to come and stay for a while with um, the, the, the daughter. That all this period that they always see her in the palace, that she is not staying there. She always come and go. That whenever she comes to the palace, she always go. That the only occasion that it seems that she was there often was when her daughter bettered her son. Um, Tedeni Kawo. That was the time she knew she stayed for a long period in the palace. But outside that, she has not stayed in the palace. She was never staying in the palace. And again, she said, most of the times, maybe whenever her daughter has any place for evangelism, she always invite her, um, invite her for them to go together to the place. And um, another thing again she said that really breaks my heart was that um, a lot of people, you know, are not happy that um, her daughter got married to the king. That it was very obvious right from onset that there were a lot of obstac um, obstacles on the way from um, church um, leaders, from um, men of God, because her daughter was a prophetess. And now they are using this um, as uh, her daughter's divorce as a medium to mock her, to cause a whole lot of things by saying that um, she went to live with her daughter. That was why her marriage couldn't last or that she went to the palace to fight 
for her daughter or whatever that nothing like that happened that she never did move in to the palace with her daughter from the onset that not anything of such happened and guys she went on again to say that queen naomi has been one of her kids that has been very close to her right from onset that she noticed that queen naomi always acts differently from every of her kids and that is why she somehow put focus on her and that brings her relationship with queen naomi being very close that you're seeing today and again she said something that even if queen naomi decides today that she's going to return to the palace that she's very much in support of her that she has never been an obstacle to queen naomi's marriage she has never been in any way you know um being um a bad mother to queen naomi that she has always tried her best right from onset she has always been there for her children not just queen naomi alone but every of her kids are still very close to her but it seems queen naomi is more closer to her and that is why you're seeing them like this today and guys again what brought about all these things is because rumors were flying everywhere that only asked them to leave the palace and that was why queen naomi um, insisted on you know following them to move away i mean which mother would want okay because your husband asks you to um ask your family to move away from um his um um home and the, the daughter will say oh because of that i have to like follow them if not um this marriage is not going to work any mother that will you know accept that that means that person is a bad mother that person is really a bad mother yes because for me i don't see it as a good thing that um because um i only ask queen naomi's mother to leave or ask them to leave which that never happened according to the woman but even if that happens and queen naomi insisted because only ask them to leave she has to follow them that means queen naomi then isn't even serious about her marriage yeah and again queen naomi cannot even say something like that because we all see how um how she you know respects oni we all see how she appreciates and loves oni all those things i don't think um she was you know faking it it just looks so real so there's no how she will say oh because her um only asked her family to move away so she has to go away with them you know the story was that she said she cannot stay without her family i mean let's be honest to ourselves which woman will even come up with that kind of thing let alone queen naomi that we know very well that loves oni so much queen naomi that we know that oni don't joke with queen naomi that so much appreciates oni very well queen naomi that we see how you know um she respects oni so guys um that is that and her mother said she is not living she never lived sorry with her daughter in the palace and she is not the cause of her daughter's um, marriage um, failure no that even if today queen naomi says she's running back to the palace she will still support her so guys that is that what do you think concerning um this that queen, naomi, uh, queen naomi's mother said that she is not the cause of her daughter's marriage because a whole lot of people you know have taken it upon um them and you know to be carrying the rumor around that um uh, because she followed her daughter to her marital home that was the reason why her daughter's marriage failed. So guys, what do you think? Just put it down in the comment section below. What is your own opinion concerning that? Because for me, I don't see it as um uh, as she was the reason. Because if you look at it very well, Urola left. Urola mother was not there in the palace. But she also went away. So why are they mentioning her name every time? So guys, put it down in the comment section below. Whatever you think concerning this and please like and share my video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys for always watching bye bye